say this, something like this happens, right? You're like, you're leaving work, okay? Okay. And things got compromised out in the world. You were at work, you were doing a podcast episode or something. And like things just kind of hit that level where it's like maybe a couple police precincts have been taken over just by vandals mm. and crazies. Like like the pendulum starting to, it, mm. things are getting like a wall, right? And then everything. Purge. The purge, right? So you're driving home, you're getting fucking Man, Cam that's... Haynes is sending you fucking a thousand hammers, you know what I'm saying? Like right. you're getting all of it, everybody's just texting you, you know? Mm -hmm. Jocko's like, I'm I'm not even waking up tomorrow for work, I'll be up all, you know? <laughs> I'm just gonna be up at 4.30, right? right? Like everything's all, what do you do? Like how do you, this is the end, this is when it's like, all right, Joe Rogan, you hear, you know what I'm saying? You hear it just comes from God or from something, like a strong wind with a fucking... <laughs> With a voice box in it. It's like, this is it. This is the apocalypse. You're leaving work. This is it. I guess you have to respond to each individual situation um, on, a, it's like each thing will be unique. Like, is someone trying to break in your house? Is someone trying to rob your, you know, someone trying to break into your car while you're driving? Okay, like, so you have happen? an hour. You have kind of an hour. Right. To give, we'll give you 90 minutes. You have 90 minutes to kind of get before the, you, you're going to start to feel some pressure. What do you do? I don't know. I guess load up some magazines. Oh, I'm fucked. But I'm wondering, what do you do? You know? That's I'm... what I would do. I'd probably load up some magazines. Okay. Into yeah. what? Into guns. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I right. see. I didn't know if you fucking... No, I, I, don't mean, I don't mean magazines <laughs> like Sports <laughs> Illustrated. Uh, I mean like crazy. an AR. This guy's taking information <laughs> with him into a bunker. <laughs> I'm reading Time Magazine. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'm like, I just see Joe with as many copies of Field and Stream as you go fucking live. Well, you could use those magazines as like protection. You stack enough of them okay, on top so, of each other. Okay, so, see, you now know, you're thinking. I'll slow bullets down. Okay, but say like you pick up your family or something. Mm -hmm. Do you guys stay? Do you have a bunker? I don't currently, but this conversation is making me want a bunker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've wanted a ranch for that very reason. Like, if shit goes completely sideways, it would be great if there was a place with water and food. Where you got you got your water, you got your food, like, on the property. Okay, what about if you're kind of in a city or you're in, like, a um, like what's maybe a business or something you'd hold up in, you think is viable? A business that I'd hold up in? It would have to be some sort of fortified establishment. Like the mall? No. No, you'd have to get something that you could defend. Dude, the mall? Yeah, the mall? I think because you'd have probably like, think of all you could hide in the fucking Macy's behind all the... Hide in Cinnabon behind yeah. the counter? <laughs> yeah, 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 just in there. <laughs> just squeezing frosting into your mouth yeah, and fucking you, pumping shells. It would be a good excuse to eat that food because like, look, I gotta eat something. And that stuff will keep because a lot of that stuff has like all the... Um, preservatives. Preservatives in it. Yeah. So you'd have that, you'd have mannequins in there. Think about that. You could set up like a... Um, right. Esp like a mirage. Right, right, right. Like a, a fake sort of situation yeah where people would think that but you're behind that yeah I, yeah so the mall i think could be good hmm. yeah where i've been would thinking you about that mm, i would go to the mall really yeah the mall yeah because nobody's see, at the mall anymore but the dumbest people are at the mall they're gonna fuck it up for you they gotta go they're gonna go the russians are here guys <laughs> Look. they can't shut the fuck up i'm pretending to be a mannequin <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, hey, shh, give me a medium. Okay. Have you ever been in a riot, like a riot type situation? No, I was at Beta Breakers one time on mushrooms in San, in San Francisco, though, What's dude. What's Beta Breakers? <laughs> what is Beta Breakers? What is that? It's like a bunch of people. They're like racers. They're like, um, they race in the street, you know? What and, kind of racing? Um... Just for long distance, the canyons oh, always win it. Yeah, oh, running, ra okay, yeah, running racing. So it's a bunch of those folks. Bay two breakers. I thought you were saying beta breakers. Yeah, bay two breakers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was saying that too. That's what uh, I typed in. But... <laughs> oh no, beta breakers. I think is a little different. Bay two breakers. Yep. So, so that's the run. Yep. So that's the run, and you can just get in costumes and just be in the be in it. It's like oh, like the dude is dressed up like a pink monkey. Yeah. How weird is that? And he's at the front. 
Oh, McDonald's. They dress up like Ronald McDonald. Yeah, so people just do all kind of Iron costumes. Man. Oh, interesting. And okay. we ate a bunch of shrooms out there and kind of commandeered this water table. There was a water table that had kind of been left un- uh, unattended. What is a water table? Just a table with a bunch of oh, cups table of water. Oh, water's on it. Okay. So we got over there and people were running, you know, they're going. And we started telling people that the water was for Asian people only, right? <laughs> Bro, we are crying laughing because people are running they can't stop they're trying to make a time so for some people we'd be like bro it's asians only and it was like why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> and then asian people were all excited you know and we kept dousing them up <laughs> dude we were fucking Uh-oh. i would take pictures with like uh people and i'd have my fucking nuts hanging out the whole time the, what? Was, yeah bro we were you out took pictures of people with yeah. your nuts out <laughs> how old are you at the time i don't know man probably 28 <laughs> and people were like hey let's get a picture together so we get it oh and i just God. slip that bag out there maybe that fucking gum holster you know what i'm saying people do you think more people are related than we realize that there's more that that's sometimes why people get um like born with certain deficiencies and stuff like that like down syndrome and all that because more down what pe- down syndrome <laughs> because more people are related yeah yeah, I know. I got stuck in an elevator one time. I was at Mardi Gras, and uh, we were in there for like 17 minutes, and some dude, there's two girls, and there's like nine people. It was like a busy day at Mardi Gras. I'm there with my buddy Josh Kelly. He's a musician. He's playing. We take this elevator, and like nine of us get stuck in this elevator for like maybe an hour. But you can hear Mardi Gras going around. We're like, how long are we going to be in here? And we're in there in a little while, and some guy goes to two girls in there. He goes, don't worry, nobody in here is going to rape y'all. That's what he said. And suddenly, like, everything in there just changed. We're like, nobody's even thinking about that shit, you know? How big is this elevator? It was probably, honestly, I bet it was almost as big as this table. Big big elevator. Yeah, maybe two feet smaller on that end. Maybe one foot. So not so big elevator. Yeah. And some guy kept trying to just pull the doors open as hard as he could. And how many people are in there with you? I would say seven people. Seven people and two of them are girls. Yeah. Boy, suck to be them after that idiot has to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Because they have to think about that. Yeah, yeah. No one's going to rape you. Like, what the fuck, man? Imagine. And if he's not thinking about raping them, then you think he's going to be thinking <clears throat> about, you know. Did anybody tell him to shut the fuck up? Uh, people just said, calm down, calm down. You know, it was, but it was just interesting how it escalated. Like, you know, things started mm. to escalate. <laughs> um, you work. You it's you've worked so long at, at UFC. Do you feel like um, that? And I've watched your pace over there. I remember when I did a show with you in Atlanta, and then we went to we did a show the night before. Then we I was sitting behind you, and so like you you guys are commentating, and then you go right up into the ring, and you come right back down, and you commentate again. I mean, it was like watching like a. It just seemed like a lot. Like this is a lot. You know, like you have to have a real pace for it. You it's know? a real job. Yeah. You have to have energy for sure. It blew my mind. Yeah, it's like, and you're doing it for six hours. Yeah. And I sit down for six hours and I try not to pee, which is lucky that I have good experience doing the podcast because I'm used to like holding my piss for three hours, but that's about my limit. So I always have to pee at least once or twice. Ride that bag, baby. You know, I like and riding that bag. It's hard though sometimes. Like Also, I'm drinking like monster energy drinks sometimes, which are like piss magnets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> They're delicious, but they make you want to pee. Make you want to beat your wife too, dude. I've seen a <laughs> lot of dudes drinking monster <laughs> that you know they're going home to punch. <laughs> I don't know if the monster is the cause of it. I think there's probably other other factors. Well, I'll say this. It's the beverage of choice of some of those gentlemen. <laughs> I'll say that. Do you I think... thought it was rock stars. <laughs> I don't... Maybe it used to be. <laughs> it's a great job, man. I love it. I look forward to it every time. I look forward to it this weekend. I'm doing this weekend in Dallas. I'm pumped. Oh, nice. I don't know who's fighting on that one. It's Amanda Nunes. Two? Yeah, versus Juliana Pena. Dude, I was at the yes. first one. Yes. Yes, who knows what's happening in that rematch. And Halle Berry was there at the first one, dude. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was cool. Halle Berry's a big fan. She's there all the time. Yeah, she that was cool. She loves the sport. Yeah, Jared Leto was there. He's neat. He's always there, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he loves it. It's always, uh, I mean, it's exciting, man. You know who's a big fan of it now? Mark Zuckerberg. He's a big fan of MMA. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He loves it. He got, like, super addicted to it. He's training now. He's doing jiu-jitsu. Oh, wow. Yeah. Good for him. Yeah. They should make him fight other owners of things. Who do you think he would fight? Bezos? Bezos is no. a little older. It's kind of cruel to make him fight Bezos. He might fuck Bezos up. Who could he get in against? <laughs> 
somebody that I put all my money on Elon. You teach really? Elon martial arts? Yeah, he'd figure out a way to fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's efficient. He just had like nine kids in a month. I heard on Twitter. <laughs> How fucking efficient is that? I think he's doing it through in vitro fertilization. Yeah, I'm sure he jerks off into a FedEx tube, and mails it to these ladies. <laughs> I thought about that. I thought about having a kid via like a um, machine or something, you know? You think that's the way to do it? I think because I was thinking about having a child with a friend of mine. A guy or a girl? A woman. Okay. Damn, bro. I just want to let you know what you can and can't do. <laughs> okay. <laughs>